happiness is a choice and it is free. Attract it. Create it. Happiness is not last month. It's not tomorrow. It is today. It is not outside of you. It's here. Find it. You owe it to yourself to be happy. Create your own sunshine. Happiness is a spiritual experience where you live every day deliberately and intentionally with love, grace, and gratitude. Happiness is not only the big stuff, it's also the small things and tiny little moments. Create your happiness, design it, decide on the shape, decide on the color and the exact shade of the happiness. Decide how many pillars you need to hold your happiness together. It's your call. The choice is yours to make. So, focus and live your life consciously and deliberately, knowing that the time you have on earth is a gift. And if you fail to live it happily, you lose it forever. You have the power to change the reality you see around you. You are the architects of your reality. The mind is powerful. It will believe what you tell it. It's on that note that I welcome you to Amazing Grace with Bosse. Hello, amazing people. Today, we are going to be looking at how we can create our own happiness in a very difficult world. To start with, let me ask you a question. What does happiness look like to you? You have to know what happiness looks like so that when you see it or experience it, you can recognize it. It's not necessarily the big stuff. For example, I belong to a book club where we meet once a month to review and talk about books. So it's important that you're able to identify the things that make you happy and bring joy into your life. It's something, for example, that gives me great joy and I always look forward to that time with very wonderful women. Joy that will be so much in your heart that you're willing and excited to share it with others. You have to be high on life. It will increase your endorphins, dopamines, and serotonins. These are all happy brain chemicals. And indeed, people will start to wonder, why are you so joyful in spite of the shenanigans around you? It's mind over matter. Your happiness should not be dependent on somebody else. You must choose to be happy no matter the circumstances around you. Let no human being or situation take away from you. If there's anything that you must hold on to and guard jealously, it is your happiness. Happiness is an inside job. Do not assign anyone else that much power over your life to determine when or when not to be happy. So, it's important that you own your own happiness and take responsibility for it. Seriously speaking, I honestly do not think it is fair to give another human being that much power to control when you smile, when you laugh, dance, or jump with excitement. They are human beings like you. They will mess you up and disappoint you big time. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? So 
Do not entrust your joys and happiness to anybody. Own it. Success and achievement does not equal happiness. Your happiness should not be dependent on your plans to marry, fall in love, lose weight, have a child, build a house or buy a car. Don't be deceived. Happiness is not in things. Don't get it wrong. Things are good and can definitely make your life easy and make you happy. But remember that happiness is a moving target. If you hit one target today, you immediately set another target for tomorrow. The truth is that you can be miserable even with all you have, while someone else with very little is very happy. So it's not about what you have. It's about you intentionally deciding to be happy no matter what. Happiness depends more on the inward disposition of mind than on outward circumstances. And that is very true. Also realize that what makes your friend happy may not be your cup of tea. So you can't copy and paste. It's different for everybody. Find yours. You don't need anybody's approval to be happy. There's a lot to be happy about if you look well enough. Yes, there are bad things happening every day. But the good things are plenty. So be grateful for that. It's important to always bear in mind. The fact that you are a happy person does not preclude the fact that you will sometimes have some not so happy moments or days. You're human after all. So it's okay to be vulnerable. But because you have the happiness mindset, you are able to snap out of the unhappy and sad moments very fast. There are many ways to get into that happiness mindset. I'm going to share a few with you that I know will always bring you to a place of happiness no matter what you're dealing with. Number one, gratitude. You have to be grateful for everything. Cultivate the habit of gratitude, even for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hmm, did I just say be grateful for the bad and the ugly? Whoa, that is a tough one to do. Even though the Bible says, in all things, give God thanks. Let's face it. There are some things that are impossible to be thankful for. But when you remember that it could have been worse, you will have cause to be grateful. Number two, love yourself. Be your authentic self. You must be happy with who you are. You must like yourself. You must also enjoy your own company. Number three, stop worrying about things beyond your control. It is, however, very important that you acknowledge the issues. Don't be in denial. But stop overthinking or overanalyzing your situation. Don't torture yourself. Stop brooding over your misfortune. When the bad thoughts come, use the good thoughts to drive it away. Number four, social bonding is important. Surround yourself with people with like minds, people who will lift up your spirits. Build healthy relationships. Call up your friends and family. Go to the movies. Go out for lunch. 
Invite friends to your home for dinner. Join a book club. Join a gym. Play golf. Reach out and interact with people. Number five, show kindness as much as you can. Give your time to help friends and family and the needy in your community. When you make people happy, the happiness comes back to you. If you want a lifetime of happiness, help someone else. Your happiness indeed should look like the life you envision for yourself. Imagine what you want to be. It is never going to be 100%. But if you were to tick all the buttons of things that gives you joy and happiness, you should be able to score very high. So don't beat yourself or lose sleep over the 20% that is not aligning with your dream of happiness. Cut yourself some slack. You have absolutely no power and control over the 20% that is not working well for you. Remember that when you take a decision to be happy, there are some people who will never be happy to see you happy. You have no power over that. Just focus on your happiness. And it is your responsibility to ensure that you score 100% in the areas you can control. Life is too short not to be happy. That's our show for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Until I come your way again, remember that the only way you can get through life and enjoy it is to be happy.